is your rack position with the kettlebell. You don't want to do anything funky with your wrist. You want to keep your wrist and your forearm a straight line. In this position, I know it looks diagonal. So straight line, straight line. Okay. For the ladies, we don't want the weight to press up against your chest. So for ladies, we do want to be more with that vertical line. Do want to be careful, both ladies and gentlemen, don't want to get too far out. That's what we call the broken arm. So a couple other things, we want to make sure that the bell and your fist stay below your chin. And we also want to make sure when you're doing the single arm rack, naturally gravity wants this to happen. We have to brace with our midsection, keep shoulders, hips even. So a lot of inner abdominal pressure and tension Good hard brace is going to be very helpful. So how do you get in this position safely? I want to go over two, eh, kind of three. First one is a two arm clean. You're using two arms, hiking between your legs, gently catching the kettlebell, putting it into the rack position. Another way is you would do a one arm clean, hike the bell behind you and catch if you don't feel comfortable doing either of those, you could always have a friend hand you the bell. Once you have your good rack position, you want to maintain your good rack position. As you walk, reminder, gravity is going to want to crush you on the side that you're holding your weight. It is your ultimate responsibility to keep good posture, upright position, and do not let gravity beat you. One thing that is going to help the most is really practicing bracing while you're walking. When you're done with your walk, make sure you safely return the kettlebell to the ground. <coughs> And don't forget to do both sides. If you really wanted to, you could do this with a dumbbell. It might be a little awkward in the holding position of it. Just make sure you don't do anything funky with your wrists. Practice, be safe, have fun.